Hi everyone, I'm Cypher and this is part 1 of the ESPD redesign. We are starting where it matters most, the main board. I'm fixing what didn't work, upgrading what could be better and laying the groundwork for all the features coming next. So let's get our hands dirty and make this project more functional. What you build should deserve the space it takes. That's the mantra I live by, born from years of building gadgets. For the ESPD redesign, I approach it with greater seriousness than before. Compared to the previous version, the current design prioritizes negative space that's purposeful, not wasted, ensuring a clean and intentional visual experience. The next change is I upgraded to the ESP32 S3 for several key advantages. Enhanced processor performance, Bluetooth 5 support, improved power efficiency, a higher GPIO count, and most importantly, USB OTG capability. With USB OTG, the ESP32 S3 can act as a USB human interface device or HID, like a keyboard or mouse. If you take a close look, new ESP Div have two USB-C ports. One for native USB OTG to enable USB host emulation like rubber ducky or JTAG debugging and another for USB to UART for programming and serial communication. This dual port design separate USB functionalities with programming. The new ESP Div will also feature its own custom shield. But this time I opted for surface mount or SMD pin headers instead of through hole ones to save space. I typically use the TP4056 for battery management in my projects, but I decided to switch to the IP5209. It offers a 2.1 amp charging current, a 2.4 amp boost converter, and provides battery level feedback via LDs or I2C. I followed the documentation for the schematic but after a few days of tinkering, I only managed to get battery data over I2C. It's obvious I'm doing something wrong. On the other hand, I also tested the IP5306. It works well, comes in the same package as the TP4056, but unfortunately doesn't support I2C. I'm going to give the IP5209 another shot, and if I get it working, you'll hear all about it in the next video. To make this gadget perfect, the small details matter, like controlling the display's backlight. I had this feature in my other project, an Earthbox, but that used an OLED display, which is a different story. For ESP Div, I decided to use a MOSFET SI2302 and a PWM capable GPIO on the ESP32 to control the backlight brightness. The PWM signal modulate the MOSFET which adjusts the current to the backlight, letting me smoothly control the brightness instead of just turning it on and off. This video is sponsored by NextPCB. If you're working on a custom hardware project, NextPCB is a solid choice for PCB manufacturing. They offer high quality boards, fast production times, and support for everything from simple prototype to advanced multi-layer designs. Check them out through the link in the description and thanks for the next PCB for supporting the channel. If you take a close look, you'll notice an SD card icon in the ESP Div status bar. This indicates whether a micro SD card is inserted or not. Previously, I used the SD library to detect the card, but it wasn't always reliable. To solve this, I used one of the ESP32's GPIOs connected to the SD card slot card detect pin. The card detect pin is a simple switch inside the SD card slot that connects to the ground when a card is inserted. By configuring the GPIO as an input with a pull-up resistor, I can reliably check if the pin goes low, meaning a card is present. Now that we can freely control the backlight, there are features where we might want to go completely lights off. In that case, we need an indicator. And what's better than a WS2812B? My gadgets always have at least one, even if I don't end up using it. Of course, I might decide which version to use in the final design. Speaking of final design, I might change the tactile switches as well. I guess we'll see what happens. 
That's it for part 1 of the ESPD redesign. We've made some solid progress on the mainboard and there is still plenty more to come. If you're into this kind of hands-on development, make sure to stick around. Part 2 is coming soon. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.